Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got some mission darts for you today. We got the Cam Crabtree, Shazam himself. Really nice looking sort of dart, no coatings or anything. It's a nice plain silver dart with the plain tungsten. Um, but what I think we'll do is we'll go and head on over to the board and have a closer look. Okay, so we're over the table. We got some Mission Cam Crabtree darts. Really, really nice darts. Obviously, it's called the Shazam, and you've got this very sort of like uh, almost like a broken glass effect behind here in the red and the black window showing the dart setup, Mission logo down at the bottom, and the fact we got the 25 gram. Over on the back, we got some information there from Mission Cam Shazam Crabtree up at the top. Mission logo. We got the 0.05 gram match weighted. What's in there and some safety info. Let's get the darts out. Have a closer look. Right, so it comes in this standard black velvety plastic insert, quite flimsy, but it's only protecting the darts in the box, obviously. You've got the flights here up at the back and the three darts partially set up in the point holder. So we'll get one of the darts out, have a closer look at it. Starting at the front, we have a standard black coated point. Um, it's quite a medium sort of shaped uh, length point, which is really good. It's a good starting point. And then we go into a very square cut um, so like nose on the actual dart which is tapering straight from the front up to the middle and then we obviously have the rear taper as well going from the middle to the saber red stem um, the actual grip at the front starts off a little bit different to the main section you've got a single ring and then a groove wider ring groove and then you've got two rings and then we go into another wider ring but then we go into the actual main part of the grip at the front which gives you three rings in between each of the wider rings um, they're very very narrow cut up at the top these ones um, quite a deep cut groove so it gives a nice grip section um, I'm grateful for the wider ring it means that you've got a smooth section there so the actual grip itself doesn't feel too sharp but you've got a nice taper from the um, front of the barrel up to the mid section where you have a very wide ring with the mission logo etched in then we go to the back taper and this one is a little bit different as well it's sort of like you have a single ring but then it goes into almost like a twin ring but they're very evenly spaced um, there's a very minute difference between the grooves between the two sections and in between the actual rings themselves these rings are slightly squarer cut at the top to the front so not as grippy but i do like the fact that the actual grooves are concave cut so it doesn't give you too sharp edges when you're trying to grip and your fingers don't seep too far into the grooves um, obviously the actual grip itself goes right up to the end of the barrel so there's no extra ring there to sort of like separate the grip from the stem which is really really good and i'm loving the fact that this grips at the back rather than the front so it's adding a nice grip point on a absolutely fantastic push point obviously center weighted and these are 95 percent tungsten so they've managed to keep sort of like the weight with the um, thickness of the dart down um, these are the 25 grams and at the thickest point they are seven millimeters and the actual barrel itself is 50 meters uh, 50 millimeters long um, obviously if these were a lower tungsten content it would be a lot wider in the center section but i think they've done just the right thing here kept the weight and the width of the dart down so you get a nice grouping area which is really helped by having this taper down at the front so what we'll do is we'll go and head over to the board and we'll have a throw so we're over in the dart room and we got the cam shazam crabtree darts look really really nice i do like the fact they're center weighted with a front and a rear taper obviously where i'm holding i've got a lovely push point and everyone knows i like a good push point i'm going to have a couple of throws just so i can get used to them because they are a little bit heavier than i'm used to and then we'll go into our practice routine so let's see how we get on oh start off well Oh, a nice ton 40 to start. 
They're coming in a little bit steeper in the dartboard, just purely for the fact they're a little bit heavier. And a steady 60, but they're all nice and straight in a good line. Well, I'm more than happy with how they're flying, and obviously I'm making the adjustment because of the weight, so let's go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Oh, pulled that one a little bit. 81. We made the adjustment, 120 left to get. Oh, pulled the last start, 100, just 20 left to get. And in one dart. A little bit disappointed not to get it in the six with that 120, but I did sort of lean forward a little bit with that last one. So seven darts more than happy with. The grip itself feels really, really nice. It's just on the top end for me. I reckon if it was a bit too, bit more grippy, I might have had a few wild darts. But I'm loving the push point, and it's nice that it's got that push point with a centre weighted dart as well. So let's go have a final thought. Okay, I ended up doing this in seven darts. I was more than happy. I got a nice steady ton. Started off with an 80, but yeah, they felt really, really nice. Um, it's a center weighted dart with two tapers, one at the front, one at the back. Um, obviously the front taper is going to give you a nice grouping area because it's going to be thinner at the dart point. The actual grip itself felt really nice. I got a nice clean, consistent release and the space between the rings weren't too much to give an over grippy area or sharp edges. I'm going to give it a grip rating of 3.5 though because where I was on the back section with that push point on that taper along with the actual grip area of the rings and the grooves I felt it was a little bit grippy and um, more than what I would most probably go for myself but like I said, it felt nice and clean. It wasn't catching and I wasn't pulling off to the sides or anything. Um, there are 95% tungsten, which is really, really good. And it comes in 21, 23 and 25 gram. So it's a nice, decent sort of range of the most popular weights. Um, being a centre weighted die is going to be wider in that centre, but having a front taper gives you all that room and all that area to be able to group the darts nice and closely. Price point is £44.95. For a 95% tungsten dart, that is absolutely fantastic. They've managed to keep the price down because they haven't put all of the sorry, lateral grooves in there. It is all radial grooves, but again, it's it's a nice feel and don't feel like you're not getting any more of the dart at that price point because I think at 95% tungsten they've managed to keep the width down and the weight just about right. Um, if you've got a set of these or you're looking at getting a set head on down to the comment section and let us know. Um, maybe you can give your thoughts that could help somebody else make their mind up whether it's something that's going to suit them. Um, head over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv lots of stuff on there articles reviews stories and everything something for everyone maybe you've got 20 minutes to pass and you're looking for something to read to do with your favorite sport darts um, make sure you tip subscribe tip notifications got lots coming up in the future not just reviews but we do live event um, talk shows and everything as well and there's something for everyone hopefully and something that will hopefully pique your interest and as always come back check us out again soon bye